Now, after getting the all clear following her breast cancer diagnosis in April, property expert Sarah Beanie, well, she's released a new memoir. It's called The Simple Life, and it details her family's move to the countryside. And I'm very glad to say that she joins me now. It's lovely to see you. Hello. Really Hello. is lovely to see you, and this is great. I would say this is probably the most personal book you've ever written. Must be. Yes, well, I've, I've written lots of sort of housey type yeah, books and yeah. I'm dating book once but but yeah I've never written about myself I didn't really mean to write about myself actually I sort of started out thinking I'd write I'd write a book about all the interesting and amusing and and kind of salient things that people have said to me over the years right um and then um as I wrote it it sort of ended up this you know you start a book and you don't know where it's going to go oh I do and I really do I get really that weird, completely absolutely so you sort of start and then it, as it and as it sort of went went through, it's ended up a book about the journey of my homes from, yeah. from when I was a, a child, my home, and then all the homes. So it's not the businesses that I've had, because we've owned lots of properties. Sure. But this is just but about you've homes, lived. where I've lived. Exactly. So it was my journey of living, which, which I got to the end and I had a, such a lovely editor and she was sort of saying, no, do a bit more on that and do a bit more on that. And then I ended up going, God, this is so boring. It's just about my homes. And she went, no, 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 it's not. It's really interesting. No, anyway. it's not, because it's all the different stories that are associated with the home and all yeah. the things that you've gone through, particularly recently that you've gone through cancer, you know, and, and that's... Yeah. You know, people do want to know about that and how you've dealt with that and what you've learned from all of your experiences and all the different places you've lived. Yes, I suppose... No, it's it's interesting because I, in the I started the book before I was yes. diagnosed, and so I have written about it in the book. Mm. But I I did say at the beginning of the chapter I'm going to put it in one chapter only. It's not going to permeate through the book. Sure. It's a bit how I feel about my life. I don't want it to perm. You know, I'm very fortunate yeah. with the yeah, yeah, yeah. diagnosis that I had mm. and at the time I had, and and it it what it did make me do is open up a open up a box of. Uh, things that I probably swept nicely and my husband always says that my form of therapy is to pick up the carpet sweep it underneath um, put it down mm -hmm. and so I had to open up a, a box because my mother died when I was 10 of yeah. breast cancer and I had to look in that box and that Smart. was a, a weird um it actually kind of was probably the combination of writing this book where I had to kind of sort of put it down on paper mm. and then the diagnosis and and the combination of all of that made me address grief in mm -hmm. in a in a more realistic way i think we don't deal with grief very well no in we this don't country. no we absolutely don't i, I agree and with you 100 percent. we don't know what to say to people no and we oh, don't know what to say to ourselves no it's not a celebration i i suppose what i've learned from um from everything really i've learned that life is a celebration mm -hmm. while you're here mm. and you know definitely you know, get to, if you've got any suspicions get to the doctor get diagnosed earlier the earlier the diagnosis the better the outcome but largely, I think life is fabulous, isn't it? Yes, it is. And I love you to hear you say that. And I love the fact that you've got no regrets at all. I mean, you said, for example, you know, we're talking about the homes that you've stayed in. And I know Rice Hall that you bought the big, massive, huge, wow, what a project that was. I don't know how you managed to do that. I mean, most people trying to do a loft conversion is bad enough, right? <laughs> but this was unbelievable what you did. But no regrets, no regrets at all. It was, it, you learned so much. Yeah, and it was an adventure. And, yes. You know, I've been with my husband for 31 years, which right. is uh, forever, isn't it? But um, <laughs> but we've always had adventures. And we sort of dare each other into doing things That's a good. bit. And, and I kind of think, do we regret it? No. I mean, no. I no, mean, no, we were 29 years old and we went and bought a derelict stately home with, with like, 32 bedrooms mm -hmm. because we kind of thought, well... You only live once, don't you? And I don't regret give it, it at all. <laughs> yeah, give it a go. Give it a go. But it was See amazing. It we had it for about 20 years, then we sold it, but now we're in Somerset. We exactly. New adventures. Which sounds incredible. And also, you know, there was a lot of headlines about the fact that, that because you were living with cancer, that it affected your marriage. But actually, it did. Of course it did. It, yeah, of course obviously. it did. Why wouldn't it? But you have said now you are much stronger as a unit, your family unit, you and your husband and your boys. Yeah, I mean, do you know, I am... Um, together. I did a podcast with someone and I told a funny joke, which I thought was a funny joke. Right, right, right. Um, about, about marriage. <laughs> and, and amazingly, it was all the headlines the next right. day. Every single newspaper, the headlines okay. were like, marriage holding on by fingernails. I was like, no, that was just a really funny joke. Actually. Right. But I mean, you know, I'm not going to say that it's easy because obviously it isn't easy. No, and it, no, no, no. But I think I'm very lucky that I've got a husband and kids who are so supportive. I've known 
well, so I haven't known my I've known my kids since they were born, Indeed. but my husband I've known for so long. <laughs> but but also I think um, the fact that we had a lot to do. So yeah. the they all have a band, which is they do. Really and isn't well. music amazing when you're just when you're? It doesn't matter whether you're physically or mentally not feeling too chipper at all. You know, whatever extent that may be, music. Oh, what would we do without it's it? It's magic. What I mean, would we do? I'm so lucky to have. That so I had the book that was driving me forward. I was doing a lot of telly. Mm -hmm. It was driving me mm -hmm. forward, and and the band was well. They've just finished their UK tour, and then they released a song called "These Days" for cancer research, which raised loads of money. So do you know, it's been a really positive time, as yeah. well as a, a taxing. Taxing doesn't have to be taxing. It can be positive. Can't yeah, it? you've you've got to. I think you've always got to try somehow and find the light. We always going about this on this show. You've got to try and find the light somewhere. That can be really hard sometimes. Really very, hard. very difficult, and I'm sure you had your moments that were scary. You know, this is frightening it's, when you're is. told you've got cancer. It it's is. really scary, and it has a ripple effect to absolutely everybody that knows and loves you. Absolutely. If you're lucky enough to have people who love you, they go through it too. They do. But I talk a lot about that actually. In you the, do. It's in very the book. good. And I think, um, I, I, yeah, it's a. I think. I just any way you deal with it is the way you deal with it, and that's There's no okay. right or wrong, is there? No, and. And, you know, if you're fortunate enough to have, uh, you know, a, a good diagnosis, modern treatment is amazing. Mm. And, you know, compared to 30 years ago, there is hope. There wasn't that much hope then. That's true. And, you know, every day is, is for the living. It is. Yeah. It is. And the simple life. I mean, gosh, yeah. it's been, I think your life has been anything but simple. No, that was... I often <laughs> think that's quite ironic. But I kind of think... But I like the simple I life. It's, it's I think good. I was maybe striving to the simple yeah. life. It's more complicated well, we than ever. we all want that. We all want that. We really do. It's so yeah. good to talk to you. I'm so glad so that you're feeling to. better. And Thank things, you. you know, long may it continue. And good luck with, with the book. The Simple Life is out right now. It's, it's a great read and a, such a, a fantastic idea to, talk, you know, to sort of go through your life through all the different places that you've lived. It's great. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much.